Hi, we're Francine and Byron Parola from Smart Loving and today we've been asked to share with you some thoughts about St Joseph, the spouse of the Mother of God. Uh, when we reflect on this, one of the things that we are really struck by St Joseph is that he was really in some ways a model of uh, a model husband. Yeah, if you think about it, uh, we think about uh, Mary very, very much uh, in that, the, that great line from Scripture, let it be done to me according to your will. But we don't know what Joseph's response would have been um, to God, but his whole life would have been very much that exact same statement. If you think about it, Joseph, you know, like all you know, um, forthcoming husbands, and uh, would have had plans for his life, aspirations for his life with Mary. Um, and no one he knows where our marriage commitments take us. No one knows where those vows will take us um, because our vow is simply to love each other and put the other first in our life. And if you want to think about a model of, of who, who is husband, uh, who is a lover of wife, uh, did that so, so magnificently, it was St. Joseph. He, he put his entire life uh, for the care and the protection and the raising, um, care and protection of Mary, um, the mother of God, and also for Jesus, um, you, know, the, you know, the son of God, which was bestowed to, bestowed to him in his care as his earthly father. So there's a great model there in Joseph. If, when you think about it, uh, he was entrusted by God with the care and protection of Mary and Joseph, um, two of his beloved precious creatures, perhaps the most beloved precious creatures, although Jesus wasn't a creature. Um, there's incredible responsibility. It must have been so intimidating. But the thing is, is that he didn't do it alone. Because of his deep faith in God, he had um, these extraordinary encounters with God in his case through dreams, which recalls the St. Joseph of the Old Testament, who was also a dreamer. Um, and, you know, we understand the Old St. Testament Joseph to be a forerunner of the New St. Testament Joseph, New Testament St. Joseph. But those dreams, he was able to hear and receive God's words through dreams in his case, because of his deep love and relationship and trust in the Lord. So you think about the, you know, the things that we know of that he um, quite extraordinary things that he did, you know, the, you know, the, the great you know, biblical story of you know, the, the trip to Bethlehem. And, and just think about that as a father, as a husband of your expectant wife, trying to find and care for her. Um, think of the, uh, the escape to Egypt and not just the fact they did it. And you know, these days we would think about that as incredibly disruptive. We'd have to book a flight and we'd have to book a hotel at the other end and we'd be disrupted in our lives. But in those days, it was a walk and it wasn't a safe walk. And you were walking because somebody wanted to kill your child. So you think about the, the things that he carried, the, thing, the planning he would have done, the care, the worry, the, the, the wake, the lie awake nights, the great, great model for fatherhood, great model of husband love for wife in that care. I think, I think also that we think, um, his, as Francine mentioned, his connection, his relationship with God must have been extraordinary. I mean, God chose him the same way he chose Mary for a very specific mission. And I think that's a calling for us as husbands uh, to also have a deep relationship with God as part of fulfilling our marriage commitment. So a little practical tip um, that we'd suggest is try uh, fasting for the sake of the one that you love. So if you're married, that would be your spouse, for instance, for wives as well as husbands, so fast for your spouse, or for, if you're single, for your future spouse, or if you're a consecrated celibate, you can fast for the church. And just whatever works for you, pick a, pick a format or a, a time. Um, it might be skipping a meal. It might be, um, a, you know, just eating something simple, bread and water, or avoiding, you know, meat for the day. Choose something and just do that for a day in the next week or so, but offer it specifically for the intentions of your spouse. So there you are, a simple reflection on St. Joseph, a great model of, of, of what it means to be husband in a marriage, a marriage that must have been both uh, incredibly exciting. Yeah, just think about it for a moment, but also incredibly challenging. Mm -hmm. and, and what a great model for us, uh, us to take into our own marriages. Have a great day. Thanks very much. God bless.